Hello everybody. Welcome back to Meadow Grove. We got the suicide chickens on watch here. I had to start shutting the gate. Oh, that other dude was giving me a bunch of flack about leaving gates open, so I guess I'll have to do a better job. Hey, that guy. What are you dancing for? Yeah, you better go away. Anyways, I guess we have a bunch of work to do today because I can see our bank account getting smaller. Somebody must be at the store spending our money. And, uh... Yeah, I guess that means we're gonna have to make some money. We can't, uh, can't, can't all be spending it, so. We are gonna go make some silage bales. Well, we're gonna go make some grass bales. Then we're gonna wrap the grass bales. So, that's what we got going. A little frame rate lag there, goodness. That doesn't keep up. Get a little jerky there. Alright. So, yeah, as part of our. Wow. This is really. Really, really good lag there. Anyways, so part of our new gate shutting initiative, I guess I'll be <laughs> shutting all these things. Uh, I'm gonna forget. It's not gonna take long. I'm gonna get in trouble. I know I am. Anyways, all right, we're gonna go up to field 42, which is up by Farmer Men's Place, the pig farm up there. There's a big grass field up there. What I did was all the grass fields around here, well, if you watched that last episode, you know, all the grass up, uh, around the sheep farm here, we turned into hay and just bailed up and stored for the hay, the uh, sheep. So everything else is going to be silage bales. We're going to take it to the TMR mixer at the cow pen, and we're going to use it for TMR. Except for this little field right here, before we go over to his place, we're going to take a little run across the road here. Now this field... I snuck in a second cutting on this. This is the first field I did when I got off the plane. Nobody else was here. Uh, so I had jumped in the mower and found this field and come over and mowed it. Well, it was uh, because it was so far in front of everything else. By the time we got it bailed up and picked up, it was ready to mow again. So I got a second cutting on this field and nobody knows about it. So I'm going to bail these up. A little, uh, little secret income here for the farm. So I'm going to bail this field, <coughs> wrap it up, and we're going to take these silage bales and store them somewhere for a good price. Really? Come on, I feel like I had that. Anyways, yeah, we're going to store these somewhere for a good price. Then when uh, we need a little extra income and don't want to borrow, we still haven't borrowed anything from the bank, so we're still zero bank loans we're trying to avoid that so whenever we need some money i will have these sitting uh, sitting aside somewhere that's the plan anyways uh, as long as i can keep them hidden from other people i don't want people going and swiping all of our stockpile here there's something going on huh? but it doesn't look like that for you guys oh man Looks like this baler doesn't like this tractor or something. There's. Anyways, we'll be okay. We'll make it work. Uh, might be just a little blurry, but that's all right. We'll crash up into the corner here. So yeah, I gotta sneak around and get this field done real quick. We'll get these wrapped. Uh oh. Can't do that. Not gonna work, is it? <clears throat> Everything's just really slow. <laughs> so our, yeah, our ping is way up there. We're at a 70 ping. I wonder if he's in the store menus now. No, he's not at the store. I'm not sure what's doing that. <clears throat> Normally I'm down in the 20 to 30 range. That ping is 60 to 70. And I can tell the difference. Anyways, yeah, we gotta get these done. Get these, uh, I don't know, where, where can we store them? You know what? I know what we'll do with them. We have the little mini BGA put in over there that takes 10,000 a day. 10,000 liters. Let's stick two or three bales in there every day. Even without... Uh, spectacular price um, as long as they're around $300 I think it's the going rate that we've always sold at before so as long as they're somewhere around that price we can put
put those in there and still make digestate. So that's a win-win. A little extra income and a little free uh, fertilizer. So I think that's a pretty good idea. That's probably what we'll do. I'll take them to the little mini BGA that we have the lot. Uh, I don't know if I showed you guys that. We'll have to take a look at that. It's uh, between us and the cow farm right now. So it's just a little, uh, little placeable area up there that we have. Um have the mini BGA on, so I can't <laughs> I can't drive in a straight line. Help me. Sometimes that ping gets back down to where it should be. I gotta get that thing figured out. Something is not happy. But anyway, speaking of happy, I hope everybody had a happy Memorial Day. We did, we had a really good time. <clears throat> when kids went and played in the creek nice and hot day what in the world is going on with this driving right here I'm I think I'm gonna have to find something else to do until this ping gets straightened out that's that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it right <laughs> get this not not good all right anyways yeah i hope everybody had a happy uh, holiday there a uh, good memorial day and geez i guess it's summertime now it's the unofficial start to summer but for me yeah that's always around here that's when it gets hot and next week is gonna do it <clears throat> excuse me it's supposed to be up in the mid 90s all week so uh <laughs> welcome welcome to the first week of june All right, well, this isn't going the way I thought that it would go. Let me uh, let me try to do this off camera. Maybe, perhaps CPU usage is doing it. Let me uh, let me turn the recorder off. See what happens. I'm gonna get the rest of this field done, and then I'm gonna go to field 42 and start doing that one. So, we'll catch back up with you. All right, well, we have certainly upgraded our ride, didn't we? You know what? I didn't shut the gate, and I'm not sorry. I don't care. It's not close to Christmas yet. Santa Claus is probably didn't even see it, so I still got time to make up for it. I feel certain. Anyways, look at that. Our ping is down to where it should be, right in the high 20s, low 30s there, in a white number instead of that orange and red number. Uh, we actually figured out that it was our beloved 4440. And the 44 or 4020 that uh, Farmer Min has. So, yep, yeah, unfortunately, they broke down on us. We had to trade those in. Uh, Farmer Min has a Fint 515 now. So, nice little compact tractor that can do just about anything. Man, those things are really, really cool little tractors. They got all the attachers, as much horsepower as you need, a uh, total package there. So, anyways, yeah, we got what? One, two, three, four, five seven hidden bales off of this field so that's pretty cool i'm gonna leave this gate open too just because i want to how about that all right so let's see i don't know the fastest way there yet uh let's go let's go take uh take a ride through the neighborhood here see if we can get out without tearing everything up yeah anyways so yeah ping is back down where we're supposed to be i hope that wasn't too bad to watch uh, I went back and reviewed a little bit of it. it. It looked, I mean, it looked decent. Let's be honest, most of us are watching this on our phone probably, so uh, it, it'll be just fine, I think. Uh, hopefully it's a lot better now. Everything's running much, much smoother. I don't know what the deal was. We had to restart and uh, ended up selling those tractors, so. Yeah, anyways. Hate to see that 4440 go, man. I love that thing. But there was just something, something wasn't jiving with it. You can't have equipment that's not operating 100% out here, so. Uh, we upgraded, we just took the 6 Series that we already had, we're going to put that to work. I don't know how we lucked into that, as a matter of fact. Did I pass the entrance to that field? That says pig farm, but I think. Field 42. Oh, maybe this is it up here. Yeah, okay. Maybe we didn't miss it. 
I haven't been out here enough. I don't know the road over this way yet. This is foreign terror to me. Territory to me over here. Uh, can we go this way? I can't see. Oh my goodness. No, this is not the way. Alright, so we'll keep going up this way. <laughs> I don't know how many episodes we're going to be doing this for. It'll be episode 54 and I'm still going to be looking at the map and driving backwards. That's alright. That's alright, we got it. We'll get this. I've seen us do it. We're going to get these things wrapped up. It's about time to get some cows, I assume. Um, stockpiling some money. Let's see. We're going to find the edge of this thing out. Looks like a good place to start. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excellent. All right, back in business. We're up and running. Didn't cost us too much time this morning. And we significantly upgraded our ride, so... Uh, almost... What was that thing? Probably mid-90s model. Uh, 25 years improvement. That's not bad. Not bad. All right, well. Let's go knock this thing out. We uh, should get a pretty fair amount off of this field and the other two fields that we have to do after this. I am going to do all those together uh, once I cut away here. I'm going to knock those out off camera and we will be back. Uh, I think Farmer Men said he wanted us to bring the uh, wiggle bottom and the plow up here to field 39. He is doing the cotton right now. He's found an awesome little uh, toe behind cotton harvester. So. Um, our new friend Greek Monkey at the store down there. Uh, we had to go make friends with that guy. That guy is awesome. I mean, with a name like Grease Monkey at the store at the the shop, that's the guy you need in charge, right? So, uh, yeah, Grease Monkey hooked us up with this pull behind cotton harvester so that we could actually get it done and make a little money off of it instead of <clears throat> just plowing it in is what we were going to do because we couldn't find a way to harvest it cheap enough. So, yeah, so now at least we can... Make a little money off that and give Farmer Man a little work to do uh, before he goes on break, so. He's around here somewhere. I don't know where that guy's at. Anyways. Yeah, so uh, we're going to go knock these out, and then we are going to get to plowing up there on field 39. And, well, after that, we'll probably just plow the rest of them on our way back to the farm. Uh, all the arable fields need it. And I think what I'll do is... I talked to Farmer Man about this, and I don't have quite uh, as much to do once the grass is growing on my farm as he does up here. So uh, if there's not any fertilizing or anything that he needs help with, I'm going to go ahead and tear down a grass field at a time on the sheep farm. Uh, probably start with field 31, where I did the second cut for the secret bales up there. We'll plow that, replant it, uh, get it limed and fully fertilized, and then plant it, you know, to maximize our yield. We like to do that on all of our farms, so um, Min was okay with it, I think, as long as... I think he was uh, kind of curious about my plan at first because he thought I was going to do them all at the same time, so um, I think he's okay with it. We'll do it just one at a time. That way the rest of them can continue to be cut, and we'll still get our yield off of it, so yeah. That's the plan, anyways. Let's see, I totally meant to do that. Excuse me there, Mr. Bill. Alright, well, that was a good time. I probably should have cut away right before I did all that. <laughs> so, let me, uh, let me go knock these bales out. I will make sure that Farmer Man doesn't need any other assistance. And then I will bring the old big girl, see if we can get it up the tight roads here. We will see what kind of plowing we can do. We'll be right back. Alright, we got done bailing. We made it back. Uh-oh, we forgot which way that gate folded over. No, quick, go. Ooh -hoo -hoo. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking that thing folded inwards. Of course it wouldn't. Anyways, watch out, suicide chicken. We gotta straddle him is what you gotta do. Look, I didn't say anything to that other guy, but I caught so much flack for leaving gates open and having dirty vehicles. I guess I'll have to... Oh, well, look at that. Speaking of the devil, I left the gate open over there. <laughs> All right. I got to clean this thing up real quick. Look at that thing. Ooh. I think that Farmer Min just sold quite a bit of money's worth of cotton off of his little 
cotton escapade on field 39 there, so that was pretty good. That was more money than I thought it would be. I think it was like almost $19,000. Uh, 18000 something, I think. So he is going to... That thing won't wash up. Not getting any cleaner. Uh, he is going to go and start spreading lime. I believe he's going to purchase a lime spreader with his newfound money there. And I don't think we had one on the farm where he's, he's going to look around, but... I don't think we owned one. We didn't remember seeing one when we uh, took our first tour, so. Does this just not ever clean up, or what is the deal there? Anyways, uh, he's going to purchase one of those, start spreading lime. All the fields need it, so we're just going to go ahead and do them all. And while he does that, I am going to jump in the wiggle bottom, and we'll get this parked up. I'm going to jump in the wiggle bottom, take the plow up, and start plowing the cotton field that he just finished. So, hopefully he will start uh, with the lime spreading up there, but uh, now that I mention it, yeah, I guess I'm going to plow wherever he spreads lime first, I guess. Drop that off there, perfect. Alright, watch out chickens. Oh no, we got some escaping. I'm going to get out here and shut the gate real quick. Stop it. Get back in there. Alright, anyways. Let's see. We'll go over here, get us a ride. I guess I'll take the Mahindra up there. And, uh, no. I'm going to take the Wiggle Bottom up there. It's already down here. That's right. I was thinking it was at his farm for some reason. Nah, we're good to go. Let's cut through here. I mean, the back way, I like this little path right here. It's pretty handy. Alright. Drop that off there, I think. Maybe it's in here. Simon says, Hey, winner, winner. I'm right. The Rabbi Steiger. I think it's cool. In the case. I am anxious to use this little thing. I have not used this yet, so looking forward to using that. It's a cool looking little plow. I uh, saw our buddy Nicholson Farm using it the other day, so. Looked like something we needed to try. $15,000 worth of new vehicles. I think somebody just bought a lime spreader. Pretty sure. Ooh, nothing. Nothing. Nothing's happening there. <laughs> a little close. Alright, let's see. I guess I'm going to wait because if he's just now buying... Let's watch and see what he does there. If he's just buying the spreader... Uh, then he has not. Look at that. That's an ugly looking thing, isn't it? Wonder what happened there. Anyways, um, yeah, he obviously hasn't started spreading anything yet, so. Look, there's two of them there. Oh, goodness, that's way too many farmer mints. Oh, that's how he gets so much work done. He's got a clone. I'm on to him now. Uh huh. Let's see, maybe we gotta sneak over there and... Let's, uh, yeah. Turn that off. Let's see if we can put our go fast boots on and sneak over the back way. We'll see if we can catch two farmer men's in action over here. I knew there wasn't something quite right about that guy. You can't be that awesome and just be one dude, right? There's gotta be something else going on, so let's see, where's he at? There's a farmer men and a farmer man, look. Illuminati confirmed right there. We are on to him. Can we crouch down? Yeah, we'll hide. Let's see if he notices. So what's going on over there? This is some men in black kind of stuff here. I knew it. I knew he had something to do with that alien dude at that other farm we were at. Uh-huh. Look at him. Look, invasion of the body snatchers. Look, he's walking. Uh-huh. I see you. I see you over there. Up to no good. <laughs> what, uh... Oh. Uh-oh. This isn't going well. Yep. Yeah. All right. We gotta get out of here before we get busted. We're gonna have to, uh... We'll call an exorcist or something to come and uh, sprinkle some sage on his bed while he's sleeping. See if that does anything. Definitely, uh, definitely going to be hard to sleep tonight now seeing that. Ooh, all right. Anyways, 
I love my go-fast boots. And there we go. All right, let's get back to work. I don't know what that was all about. Uh, he's got something going on up there. Tell you what, we're just going to have to start plowing, and it's going to have to have to be cultivated nonetheless. I tell you what, we're already right here. This field has been cultivated, but it does need to be plowed. Let me make sure I'm telling you the truth there. Yeah, everything needs to be plowed, so. Since we're right here, and we're waiting on him to... One of the hymns, we're waiting on one of them to uh, get started with the lime. I guess we will go ahead and do this, right? Knock this part out. All right. See how this little bad boy does. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Baby articulate. Yeah. Flexing. Leaning. Oh, this is yeah. I like it. The way it should be done. Perfect. Okay. Well. I think we're about done here. Let me uh let me go make sure. Let me See what he's gonna do, see how many uh, fields he's gonna get knocked out real quick. And I'll be right back. See what else we can do. Alright, well, I didn't have to wait long. This guy is coming in just guns blazing. Look at him over there. My goodness. Looks like a snow blower. <laughs> he's just throwing out some product. I'll go get some on the hood there. And it's alright. Nice. All right, so uh, now I can't really see what I've done. I think, I think we got to go up through here. So yeah, there you go. The man is on it. Got the tires white. Uh, well, one of the men is on it. We don't know what his partner's doing. We'll have to keep an eye on them. I'm gonna have to. I don't know. I have to enlist some help to uh, keep an eye on those cats. We gotta see what's going on there. But anyways, I think we've done all the damage we can do today. So, um, yeah. <laughs> here comes that guy. We gotta give him a jump here. See if it's an imposter or not. You gonna jump? Yeah. See, that's the real farmer man right there. That's how you know. All right. Well. Yeah. I think we're done here. I want to thank you for coming and hanging out with us. We do appreciate it. That guy is Farmer Min. At least one of the clones. I am Golf Cart Jockey. And I want you to have a good day. <laughs>